name's Andrew Lonsbury. I'm Director of Development at Urban Ventures in South Minneapolis. Um, students of color in our neighborhood have about a one in three graduation rate. That means of three students, two of them are not graduating from high school and only one is making it through. just a mom or just a dad, typically it's just a mom, um, and they're not having that role model in their life or somebody to look up to who's a parent who's involved in their kid's life or understanding the school systems. Um, if you have a, a single mom who's working or trying to mother five or six kids at the same time, uh, makes it very difficult for her to be involved in, in the lives of their kids to the degree that they really, the degree that they really need to be. Economic poverty. Um, median income in the neighborhood is about about thirteen thousand dollars. And so when you put all of those together, uh, it really becomes a cycle. It really becomes something where you're growing up in a father absent home. You don't necessarily know what um, being a parent that's involved in your life means and looks like to your kids. And so we've got kids that aren't graduating from high school, uh, that aren't getting good jobs, that aren't entering the workforce, that don't know what parenting looks like yet, well, yet they're fathering kids uh, and parenting kids. And so that just creates a vicious cycle of generational poverty. It's something that then gets passed down from person to person and family to family. And we need to break that cycle. And that's what Urban Ventures does. There's often a stigma that people in poverty made a bad choice or did something wrong or put themselves there in poverty. And that can be true in some circumstances. I would say everyone's deserving of a second chance. Uh, but by and large, so many of those that we serve come from generational poverty or not there on their own accord, uh, but trying desperately to break out. And I think rather than perpetuate those stereotypes or those stigmas, um, we can we can help that we can help them break the cycle and this is just one organization that's doing it but really we're in the business of, of then providing hope so if you look at the three different kinds of poverty you look at academic poverty parental poverty economic poverty if you're experiencing any one of those or likely it's a combination of those um, you're at risk for what we'd call spiritual poverty or, or lack of hope um, lack of a belief that your life can get better, lack of a belief that, uh, that you can break that cycle, that you can come out of generational poverty and be successful. So what we do is we address each one of those. We have 12 programs uh, that operate a holistic model that then address those kinds of poverty family by family, person by person, and help them break out. Just about every single day, somebody's placed into full-time employment with benefits. That translates into about $10 million of wages every year that get put back into the community by people who are working. Nobody is too young or nobody is, is incapable of making a difference when they volunteer, when they advocate on our behalf. Um, so helping Urban Ventures spread our name and our wings and, and get into new networks and and then just getting your hands dirty. Um, you don't have to be trained as a mentor. You don't have to be trained in food nutrition. You don't have to be a parent. Uh, you don't have to have skills and qualifications to make a difference. 90% of this is just showing up. Yeah, 